Hey guys, back with a new video of one piece of gear that you should not leave out of your tool kit or your tool bag for filmmaking. Stay tuned. Whoa, 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 what's wrong with this image? Everything is blown out in white. Well, my settings are shooting 4K, 24 frames a second at 1 50th of a second, which is the correct way to film your footage. The problem with that is with everything being bright and me wanting to shoot at F2, I'm running into a problem of overexposing the image. So what are we gonna do about that? Well, we could bump up the shutter speed, which is gonna actually give it a really choppy, over sharpened look. So we don't really want that. Well, we're gonna throw on an ND filter. This is an invaluable tool that are like sunglasses for your camera. So the one I use a lot is a three stop, which is usually all I need. When you're looking through the lens and you put that ND filter on, you're putting sunglasses over the lens. And then that way you can keep your shutter very low so you can get really nice motion blur. Because if you crank up your shutter, you get really bad staccato look that over sharpens your image and it just doesn't look natural so when you watch a lot of movies they're shooting at 24 frames a second and they have their shutter speed double and they use ND filters so this tool is something I just wanted to tell you guys about I know a lot of information is out there on it but I wanted to show you actual real-world footage of how it looks to shoot with the proper shutter speed So the conclusion is you really should get some ND filters like you don't have to but I highly recommend getting some they're well worth the investment of getting the correct motion blur so your videos look more cinematic there's a lot of different settings and things you should know that actually all those together will give you a nice cinematic image but one of the things that you really got to tackle is getting your frame rate correct and doubling the shutter speed of whatever your frame rate is and use an ND filter in bright situations so you can shoot wide open, have a nice blurred background to your images. Hopefully this helped you guys. And if you enjoyed this content, hit that subscribe button below. The notification bell, make sure you hit that so you don't miss anything that I've got coming up for the new year. 2019 is right around the corner. And I hope you guys have a Merry Christmas. Give me a big thumbs up for my Christmas present. And I will see you guys in the next video.